Ben Haddon. Ben Haddon. Ben Haddon. Ben Haddon. Ben Haddon. What's up guys? Birkenstock Ben here. I've been hearing you guys want to see a what's in the bag video. So we are here for that. We'll start with what's hanging on the bag. First I got this little Titleist thing. I use it to keep my phone in between rounds. It's where I like to keep my divot tools. Uh, ball markers I might use. Got a rangefinder. Um, this is a Tour V4. I'm looking to upgrade soon. I have this Frogger brush. It's really old. I should probably replace it. I've had it for years now. I have uh, my Bag O putting training aids. And in here we have my putting mirror, which I need to replace. It's bent and I cracked it on accident. I built this for less than a dollar. This I, I use for uh, rope drills. A putter gate. Now I usually just make putter gates out of tees, but this is a lot easier. I like to use this sometimes. This is another eyeline training aid that I have. This thing, uh, it makes sure that your tees and everything go into the ground if you're doing a gate drill. They go in even. Sometimes I use this. It's a cool little training aid. There's a little clip on the inside of my bag and I use it to hold this little case. And in this case, I put my headphones. These are my power beats. I use these a lot when I'm just putting, hitting balls and whatnot. I lose these once a month. It's bad. This is a wrench. Yeah, I just use this just in case something's loose. Oh, this actually, this you might find interesting. This is a little tripod. Um, and this was, I think, $10 off Amazon and any golfer should have this in your bag. Don't ask for people to take swing videos of you. Just get one of these, throw your phone in it, put it on your bag like that. You don't need other people to take swing videos. You can just use one of these. Pro tip. Ooh, yeah. After every lesson I get, I'll go in here and I'll write stuff down. Yeah, I, I used to highlight here and then but now I just kind of write. Um, last thing I wrote down was um, hitting up on putts will produce a smoother roll. No shit. And here is uh, a training aid that I've had in my bag forever. It um, does a good job of keeping your arms in front of you big thing I believe in. Your arm should always stay in front of you and it keeps your elbows from flying out. You go through the ball pocket. For keep a water bottle, gotta stay hydrated. I don't need to tell you these things. This is my bag, my little pouch of tournament balls I like to keep. I don't like to keep my balls in sleeves. I put them in this nice little soft pouch. Some of them are marked, some of them are. This pocket right here. Oh, we're off to a hot start. First thing in the mystery pocket is, this is a little package of mints, I believe, yeah. So good, we keep them in there. We got a rule sheet. At any given moment, I have at least five rule sheets in my bag. I've never read any of them. This one in particular is from the Wells Fargo, Nebraska Open. Read your rule sheets, it's important. I don't do it, but you should do it, for sure. It's important, don't listen to me. Just listen to Dustin Johnson, the BJ Championship whistling straight at you, poor guy. Anyway, this is Buggins. Um, during the summer in Salina, the bugs will pick you up and carry you away, unless you have this on. Buggins, it's phenomenal. I have right here a ball marking tool. This is how I like to mark my golf balls, and it makes it really easy to get a straight line on the ball. I mean, you're not going to find very, very many pros around that don't have one of these in their bag. Chocolate brownie protein bar. I, had, I could not give you a ballpark as for how long this has been in my bag. I can promise you I will eat it at some point in the near future. Red Sharpie, sunscreen, also very important, guys. Wear your sunscreen. You're not tougher than the sun. I hate to break it to you. Now, clubs. These are disgusting. We're going to have to clean these off. All right, so we'll start with, uh, I have a couple of alignment rods in here that I like to use. Um, this one I just use for like actual alignment. This one's really handy because it's it's exactly three feet long and the red, the white, and then the red are each one feet. So I used to carry a yardstick everywhere I went. Now I don't have to do that because you got inches right here in the middle and each one of these is a foot. So pretty handy. Uh, my wedges, all my wedges are Titleist Vokies, SM7s. And I actually keep, and I know some people probably disagree with this, but I put Project X 7.0s and all my wedges. I like to keep it the same. You know, one irons. Irons. I got the Titleist AP2s. I'm yet to upgrade. I don't know if I'm going to anytime soon. I just got these a little under a year ago. Same thing, I got the Project X 7.0s. These are extremely stiff, extremely heavy. And the grips, I got the Align Golf Pride Multi Compound MCC 4 Plus, um, mid-sized. The two iron, 
once again, Project X 7.0. This one is an older model. It's a 716 Titleist TMB. And I like this thing for right around 240, 250 off the tee. If, I, if it's windy and it's, it's firm, I can get right around, I can get sometimes close to 300 out of it. The three wood, got the TS3, Titleist TS3 with an even flow 6.5 X 85 gram shaft T1100. Um, this thing I like for about 270, depending on what kind of conditions we're talking about. Kansas, none of these numbers mean a thing. I can hit this thing 320, I can hit this thing 220. It just depends on what the conditions are like. Driver, big dog. We got the new, uh, actually, this is a new one, the TS4. This one is, I think this hasn't been out for more than like three or four months. This is a new one from Titleist. It's mostly for tour guys because it's super low launching, super low spin. It's a beast, man. I've noticed a lot of distance gained off of this just because I spin the ball quite a bit. But same thing in here, even flow T1100, 6.5X. This one is 75 grams instead of 85 grams. So it's the only difference. But yeah, so there's that. Next on to the putter. But for dough, baby, this one I'm actually proud of. I like this club a lot. I got in here the uh, Scotty Cameron Futura 5W. I love this putter. This thing has been a godsend for me. It's super heavy. It's got 20 gram weights in it. It doesn't putt heavy. It's got a really good feel to it. And the grip, I got a blacked out Scotty Cameron Circle T Pistol Arrow. This thing's fantastic. Hasn't made me a lot of money, but I'm hoping it will in the future. <sighs> All right, well, there it was. Let me know what you want to see next. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to throw a like up there. Put add a D to the end to subscribe. Comment what you want to see next. Tell a friend. That's another big one. Share this video with somebody. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Deuces.